For any Xbox or PlayStation codes or cheap games on any platform, use the referral link in the description. It'll take you to G2A.com. Use the promo code CHEZ over there and you'll get yourself 3% cash back. For all No Identity merchandise, hats, hoodies and t-shirts, follow the link in the description down below to the No Identity Fan Fiber website. Hey guys, welcome to episode number 24 of the Napoli career mode series here on FIFA 17. We start with a game against Champions League spot rivals into Milan. They are currently two points above us. We have a game in hand, but of course if we lose this game against Inter Milan, that game in hand is of course void and uh, won't actually help us in overtaking Inter. But we're a point behind Roma, two points behind Inter, three points behind AC. Uh, I've no idea how this episode is going to go because we have been rather... Unfortunate with the schedule of late, as you can see, a number of games in April into midweek. We actually do get uh, a full week's break before the game against Cagliari, thankfully. So uh, hopefully, I mean, I get a horrible feeling that what this game against Juventus is going to be our other game in hand. So it's not actually going to be the easiest of games to actually get three points in and try and claw the gap back. So to be fair, winning against Inter here could be quite vital to our Champions League hopes. However... I'm going to have to start a weakened side against them because I just haven't got the um, I haven't got the, the personnel available right now. The fix list just hasn't been kind to us. So after our defeat against Lazio with my first team, we beat Sassuolo with the weakened side, lost to Lazio with my first team after losing to Bayern with the first team. I lost to Bayern, then won with my weakened. Lost to Bayern, then won with my weakened. Now lost to Lazio. So hopefully we'll win with the weakened side against Inter. And then we'll get everybody fit again for the second game of the episode against Cagliari. Whether that will actually work or not, we will have to wait and see. Uh, do drop the video a like if you enjoy, of course. And subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out any further content. As you can see, a bit of a rivalry between the two. The players facing off against each other. I'm going to go and sort my starting eleven out. And then, fingers crossed, we can get a win. Because I am desperate for it. I take this free kick short with Albiol and we'll find Zielinski and then work it inside. I was hoping Maggio would find some space here and he is onside. That's a pen. It has to be. Thank you, referee. This could very well be the perfect start here at the San Siro. Should be, well, actually, maybe we're considering how early it is, it won't be a yellow card here for Nagatomo, but it's an awfully timed challenge. Absolutely terrible. Right now, I missed my last penalty with Milik, so I'm going to ensure I get it on target. And I have got it on target. The keeper saved it, not once, but twice. Unbelievable goalkeeping from Handanovic. It wasn't the best of penalties with regards to placement. I was just trying to ensure that I got it on target rather than loosely firing on goal and either hitting the woodwork or putting it wide. But how he saved the second effort as well, I have no idea. I think I might just have to stop taking penalties with Arkadisi Milik because he's been the, uh, the main man that I've been missing penalties with this season. And oh, they've nearly gone up the other end and scored themselves from my penalty. Albiol will look to pump this clear. Milik could get on the end of this. If I can win this header, we may still end up with a goal-scoring chance here. Kreiti's done well. He's looking to race away, but Gary Medell is just far, far too quick. Far, far too strong, sorry. And Kreiti's pace isn't good enough to get away from him. Well, we could have been 1-0 up after four minutes, but the keeper's made a fantastic double save, and we stay at 0-0. Looking to outpace Nagatomo, but he's quite fast, Nagatomo, so he's not going to be easy to beat in a straight line. Malik's done well there, although... The pass was actually more of a stumble into the ball, but never mind. It was where it was in, intended to go. I'm actually going to go back across here to Zielinski, who's gotten in the box. Angle's not the best, but Handanovic with a good save. Crazy will keep it in, I hope, and he has done. Get it through there nicely to Johnny, the left back, but unfortunately Kandreva saves or gets in the way, but Zielinski goes down, another penalty. Well, a second bite of the cherry, a chance to uh, score from the spot yet again. Can we do it? I'm not going to take it with Milik. Going to take it with someone else. And it's Nagatomo again. He's given away two penalties in the opening 25 minutes here. Absolutely terrible. Not taking it with Milik. Who was it that won it? It was Zielinski, wasn't it? He can take it. Zielinski, two. Oh! Give us a 1-0 lead. The keeper went the right way and my heart leapt out of my chest almost. I was thinking I was going to miss another one. No. We lead at the San Siro by a goal to nil. And I think it was just the power on the penalty that took it past the keeper. He went the right way, but couldn't get near it. 1-0, thankfully, after our second penalty of the game. Shalinski into Allen. Nice turn. She needs to get this ahead of Krejci so he can run away. Kandreva rather foolishly tried to slide in there. Oh, the turn from Krejci was just too good. 
Alan played in and, well, he, he tried to scoot the ball up and then actually forgot to scoot the ball when he scooped. Alan will get this into the middle. Oh, good tackle by Nagatomo. Nearly, if he hadn't have gotten to that, giving away a third penalty. Pulisic with this into Milik. We've got runners all around. There's Alan, hit it early, but past the post. Decent effort. If he'd have taken that on his right, might have stood a better chance of getting it on target. But never mind. 1-0 lead still intact. 10 minutes to go to a half-time. Maggio. Forward to Pulisic. Back to Rog. And I see the run being made. And Milik will find Zielinski here. And he's in the box. And Zielinski for two. Yes. Very nicely tucked away. He's actually turning into quite an influential player in this first team now, Zielinski. Really making the difference here. Makes it Napoli 2 into Milan nil. Lovely lung-busting run from midfield. Takes it in his stride well. Gets away from one defender. Set, settles himself and buries it in the bottom corner. That gives us a little bit of daylight between the two sides. Now, hopefully, that will be enough to give us all three points and overhaul into Milan whilst still having that game in hand. Medel forward into Ava Benega. Lovely footwork from the Argentine. He's gone out wide. I thought he was going to go into uh, the man in the middle. But thankfully, we've done enough there with Maggio to put off Andre Silva. He's gone down. I thought that was a foul. I thought he clipped him there, but the referee's not given anything. Thankfully, that could have been a penalty to Inter after we had one, or two even, in the first half in that very same penalty area. Gracie played in down the line here. He's trying to get away from Davide Santon. He's done well. Unfortunately, the ball inside wasn't quite good enough. Half an hour to go here, and I am going to make a change. We're going to take Marco Rog off, and I'm going to bring, actually, Damian on. He's good enough on the ball to play in that centre mid position. Uh, so hopefully he can uh, just help us solidify defensively and then we can see out the rest of this game and get these three points because they would be vital. Alan, I see the run being made by Crazy on the far side and what a ball by Alan to find him. Unfortunately, he didn't quite play it far enough ahead of him so he could take it in his stride and that's actually stunted the entire move. But Alan's found himself on the ball again and he could go again here, Alan, and I've asked him to. I'm actually going to go back the other way, but I couldn't keep possession. Go down the line here with Maggio. Not the best of balls, but Pulisic gets it under control. Marco Rog spins into Allen. Oh, it's a great touch. Allen with a turn. He can't get the shot off before the defender gets the foot in. Unfortunately. Oh, and I nearly stole it off Kandreva there. We could have been in again. Uh, and I have stolen it off Kandreva there. Allen involved in everything right now. He can't help himself but get involved right in the thick of things. For a CDM, he's playing like a striker right now. Just over 20 minutes to go between ourselves and a valuable three points. Oh, Rog with a tackle, but the ball's dropped free. And he's given it straight to Pulisic there. Malik out to Marco Rog. Oh, being closed down rather quickly by Perisic. So we had to go back to Pulisic there. Go into Zlinski, then all the way out wide here to Christian Maggio. And they'll look for the ball. Oh, what a cross. That is beautiful. Oh, the ball in. That's one of the best crosses I think I've ever put in in a game of FIFA. And the keeper didn't come for it. And Crazy just smacks it home. Oh, lads, that is a goal of the season contender. It's not that emphatic, but just for the pure whippage on that cross. And then the volleyed finish at the far side. He scored six goals for us now, Crate. He's had a... Actually, no, he hasn't scored six goals for us, has he? Because some of those will have been for his previous team. We signed him in January. But still, he's been very good for us. He scored at least two if not three for us since signing and I've been very very pleased with him 3-0 up at the San Siro I did not see this coming well I've got a decision to make do I go left or do I go right I had options on either side Crazy gets the ball here Davide Santon closing me down but he can't cope with the turn penalty three penalties in one game here Nagatomo gave away two and now Davide Santon has given away another it was Crazy that won that one, so I'll give it to Crazy. I'm sorry, Milik, I'm just not confident enough with you right now. Keeper's gone the right way on three occasions. This time didn't move. It's 4-0 at the San Siro. Not entirely too sure how this result has come about, but I am thrilled with it. It seems my weaker, much weaker, rotation side is better at getting results in Serie A than my best eleven. David Benega into Perisic, took that in his stride very well and it's completely torn me apart. I couldn't react quickly enough to, my, my brain couldn't keep up with the pace of Perisic, I couldn't switch defenders quickly enough to make sure that I stopped him from having the chance on goal and in a central position like that when you can shoot on either foot, it's no real surprise that he scored there Perisic. 4-1 but still an extremely one-sided result thanks to uh, some rather terrible defending from them, giving away too many penalties. And even if it were just the penalties that they're given away, and we, the ch 
even if it were just the penalties that they'd given away and the penalties that we'd scored, we'd still be winning. So they have no one to blame but themselves, Inter Milan, here. We said in yesterday's episode that our Champions League potential finish was all in our hands and so far we are keeping up with what we need to do and we've just gone straight up the other end and made it five. I don't know how I've done this against Inter Milan. I've not been playing, playing very good football with Napoli for a few episodes now. It's been a bit of an issue, but here everything seems to have fallen into place. We are 5-1 up at the San Siro. Pinch me. There goes the final whistle at the San Siro. A spectacular result for Napoli there. An unexpected result, but one that I will most certainly be delighted to take. Don't ask me how I've pulled that off, because I can't tell you. But we now get a full week's break for the first time in a month. So everybody will be fit again. Hopefully, Bellotti will be back as well by the time we get to the game against Cagliari too. And I'm actually keen to see what the league table looks like heading in towards the next game. Because that will put us above Inter with a game in hand on them. So that certainly moves us up into at least fourth. And we are actually up into third. We're above Inter. They've now played a game more than everybody else and we've caught up with everybody else. Okay, so actually it turns out the game against Inter was one of our games in hand and Inter have now played 34. Not really too sure how the fixture list has been working in uh, Serie A this season, but we are level on points with AC Milan. Our goal difference is vastly superior, but because it's done on head-to-head -head before uh, goal difference, that's why they're ahead of us because they've beaten me twice. So... Uh, that's why they're above us. Our goal difference, we're actually, they're, to be fair, they've conceded less goals as well. Uh, our goal difference is very similar to Juventus's, but they have a game in hand and will almost certainly go uh, even further clear with that game in hand. I think the title is already theirs. It's not mathematically theirs yet, but it is very nearly mathematically theirs. We'll head now into the game against Cagliari and hope to solidify in that top three. Lucas. Back inside to Bellotti, who's back in the starting lineup now. Still got the little plaster symbol next to him, so we are going to have to be careful. Because he only had the plaster symbol next to him in uh, the first place when we last played him, and he ended up picking up the injury. So I am going to try and almost wrap him in cotton wool here and hope that he can uh, play a good hour and try and influence the game. And then as soon as we get to a comfortable enough position, I will just take him off and not risk him any longer because he could be the man to help us get over the line. Although, to be fair... <laughs> We just battered into Milan without him, so uh, Gulam's going to come across here to take the throw, although I am still going to take it short. Decent cross by Lucas, up goes Bellotti, but Cepitelli does well to get it away. And Cagliari will clear their lines. You need to Jao Pedro to Taxidis. I don't know what to expect from Cagliari. I can't remember how we got on against them earlier on in the season. I think we won, but I'm not entirely too sure. So we'll have to wait and see. Uh, they've got Abel Hernandez here at Cagliari, as you can see, top left. And Padua up top. Here is... The aforementioned Uruguayan, Abel Hernandez. Obviously, formerly of uh, Palermo and then Hull City. And presumably, it's a... Po How is Marco Sal... No! Did we lose against Cagliari? I have a vivid memory of Marco Sal scoring against me. And maybe we lost because of that. I can't remember. But Marco Sal came close to nearly scoring again there. And unfortunately for him, thankfully for me... He didn't, and Pepe Reina did just enough at the near post to put him off. Well, we need to be careful of the pace of Abel Hernandez. And to be fair, the pace of Marco Sal as well, and Jao Pedro blazes that one high and over the top of the bar. They've had the better chances so far, Cagliari, I have to be honest. They're playing very well, and they are catching me on the break at pace with the uh, speed that they have at their disposal up top. I'm going to have to be very careful not to get caught out here, otherwise we might be losing. Sal. Good tackle, but it's dropped to Abel Hernandez. Through to Yanita. We are 1-0 down. I can't deny them that lead. They've been all over me. They deserve that lead. What is going on? They've picked me apart. The footwork there, slightly lucky with the way it drops them, but the ball through is great, and the finish is just as good. Into the side netting. It's Cagliari 1, Napoli 0. This is not what we needed. Oh, didn't quite go according to plan, but we have been able to find Huso. We'll get it inside there to Bellotti, who's turned well, and we'll let the shot fly. Unfortunately, it's well blocked by the defenders, but Bellotti having an influence here. Win that header, please. Koulibaly so good in the air. Jorginho will go back out wide here to Dries Mertens. And I'm going to dart inside, then go to Bellotti, and I look to spin the defender, and he's done well. Bellotti nearly got caught there. Bellotti! Great save by Raphael. Good power on the shot, as it always is from Andrea Bellotti. He has quite the... Uh, 
quite the right foot on him, to be fair. Mertens will take this through quickly. Raphael, of course, in goal for them, a former Napoli player. We sold him to them earlier on in the season, but so far he's keeping me out, and they have this 1-0 lead. Staying as it is for now. Diwara is going to have to come off here injured. He was holding his knee. It didn't look good. Alan is going to come on as the replacement. Alan, obviously... Very, very solid in that CDM role as well. But it, it, it looked, oh, yeah, his right knee looks as if it twisted there as he fell to the ground. That could be a long-term injury for Diawara. It might, well, keep him out for the end of this season. And if it's as bad as it, I fear it might be, it might keep him out for half of next season as well if it's like a full-on seven-month injury. Hamsik there into Belotti. He'll turn and get it to Lucas, who will spin. And this surely has to be 1-1 and is very tidily tucked away by Lucas Maurer. We're back on level terms, five minutes before half-time. Unfortunately, taken the blow of an injury to a first-team player, but we've bounced back from that and scored immediately after uh, Alan has entered the fray. Lovely turn by Lucas. Great finish. Let's now go and get a winner. Marcos, oh, stop it. Can't cope with the quick footwork. Padua, oh, strike! Good save by Pepe Reina. Strong arms there to palm that away. He hit that a lot harder than I expected him to. And he might get another opportunity. He's worked into Sao Pedro. Allen with the interception. Counter-attack maybe. There's a lot of space for Lucas to run into here. Could we end up... No, I've absolutely balls that up horrendously. Well, it looks like it's going to be 1-1 then at half-time. It could have been 2-1 to Cagliari there. Hell of a hit from Padawan. I did not expect that at all. Really, really good strike. It's one of the best struck shots we've seen for a while to be completely honest, but thankfully the keeper was right behind it. We are level at the break. Muru into Gel Pedro, good tackle. Work it forward quickly, and oh, I did see Lucas on the far side, but I just couldn't get under control quickly enough. Marco Sal into Yonita. Across there to Marco Sal, again around the corner to Taxidis. Kelleri have been particularly good in this game. Oh, it's a lovely turn by Marco Sal. Pepe Reina just able to get something on it. We have stopped them from getting a corner, but will they score because of that? No, Pepe Reina with another stop, catch this. He's only punched it. Husay should win this header. Hasn't. Padouin gets it under control. Turns inside. And Hamsik trying to get it away. And we are eventually going to clear our lines. Oh, dearie me. This is difficult. This is very difficult. I expected the two performances from oppositions to be the other way around. That was a terrible touch on Dries Mertens. I expected Inter to be this hard. And Cagliari to be as easy as uh, Inter Milan was. But it's been the polar opposite. I'm waiting for... About that, is to turn onto his left foot, which he does now, but it's slightly later than I anticipated it. I'm trying not to give away a penalty here. I don't want to give them an easy way to uh, go back in front. Jorginho will work this back forward to Bellotti, out wide to Lucas. I want to time the turn well so he can burst past the defender, which he's done very well indeed. Bruno Alves with me, but he's not very fast. Hamsik through to Bellotti, back in the starting lineup, back on the score sheet. Napoli 2, Cagliari 1. He is going to be the difference this season. The signing of Andrea Bellotti at the beginning of the year will be what has made our year here at Napoli. He's missed probably total about four months of the full season. So imagine where we'd be if we'd had him fit for the full year. We might well have been challenging Juve for the Serie A title, which is, of course, what the aim will be in season number two here at Napoli. For now, though, we just want to hold on to this win here and consolidate inside the top three and ensure we're playing Champions League football next season. Alan. Oh, it's a nice through ball. Belotti gets there and he's got it under control as well. Forced myself all the way around here, but Belotti might not need any support and he doesn't. 3-1 Napoli with six minutes to go. Absolutely brilliant from Andrea Belotti there. I thought I'd done too much. We ended up keep heading wide, but no, he did just enough. Exactly what was needed of him. Three goals to one now, eight goals for us in today's episode with the two conceded. We are storming to another set of three points. There goes the final whistle. It's a comfortable 3-1 win here against... Well, I say comfortable. Actually, it wasn't that comfortable in the end, was it? But they had twi almost twice as many chances as me, actually, and a lot more possession as well. It's a comfortable scoreline, but not necessarily a comfortable result or comfortable performance. But... At the end of the day, it's the points that matter. It's the goals tally that matters. And we had three and they had one. So that's all I care about. Now, what does the league table look like as we head into the final four games of the season? We are a point behind Milan with a game in hand. A point ahead of Roma. Four points ahead of Inter with a game in hand. Juve are... Well, let's see. If I win my game in hand, I'll be on 71. 
with nine available. So if you they win, in fact, if you they win once, I, what's the highest I can get to? 12 points. I can get to 80. So they need one win. Juve need one win from their final five games and they've won the league. I think they might do that. Don't know about you. So by the time we come around to play them at the end of the season, they'll pr almost... Well, they will. There's no way that they won't have. They'll have already won the league. So fair play to them. Congratulations, Juventus. Very, very good season for them. But, uh, oh, actually, I want to check and see how long DOR is out for. Uh, I won't do that extra training drill just yet. Was there an email? There was, wasn't there? And it will be that injury. He's out for four weeks. So he... Will he miss the end of the season? I think he will. Let's have a quick look, shall we? Uh, yeah, he'll miss the end of the season. That sucks for Diawara because he's been very good and grown quite nicely throughout the year. That's a shame. Never mind. Uh, we'll be back in the next episode with more from Napoli. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further content. I will see you next time.